I got exposed to the Playboy channel one night just flipping through the channels. Parents didn't see it. Um, I saw this image of these women in ways that I had never seen before. When I was nine years old, I found my dad's porn stash. You know, I can still recall, 10 years old, in my garage at home, and I looked down in that trash can, and there it was. So I fished it out of the trash can, and I was fascinated with this stuff. I became hooked. Every thought, every action, every spare moment, I thought about looking at those kind of images. That night, uh, my parents came and they asked us, what, what happened? Your younger brother told us that you guys were looking at naked women and I flat out denied it. Said, no, he's wrong. I get spots where two weeks in, maybe a month or two, to where I wouldn't have to be dealing with the issue, but it always came back, and it always came back at the same spot it did before. As I went through life and became older, I had this deep, dark secret that I didn't tell anyone, but it was eating me up inside. I was on the path to total destruction, and I knew it. I celebrated my 21st birthday in a strip club. Not soon after that, I got married. And uh, I thought maybe when I got married, this would go away. But that wasn't true. It still had a hold of me. I found my wife uh, just a couple years into college. Beautiful, amazing woman. And here I am, when I saw her, I thought, OK, this is over with. I'm never going to have to worry about this again. I'm going to have all the sex I want. It'll be fine. Little did I know, that wasn't going to be the case. Somebody pointed me to a, a Christian counselor, and he opened up the Word of God and gave me some practical advice, which included God's Word and accountability and some things that I was gonna do differently, and most importantly, tapping into the power of God to help ensure that I never go back to pornography. The first person I told was my wife. It absolutely destroyed her. It destroyed every bit of trust we'd had in our marriage. On the drive home from work, I prayed and said, God, for me not to back out again, make me sick. So it happened to be when I pulled into the garage and walked in the house, I thought I was gonna throw up. I went and found my wife in the back of the house. And as I was she was coming to me, I told her, honey, I cheated on you. Will you forgive me all the time? Like just tears streaming from my eyes. My legs were weak. And as she came towards me, she raised her hand and I was ready for her just to slap or hit me. And instead, she walked up and put her arms around me and said, we're gonna work this out. Never in any of my dreams, any of the scenarios I played out in my head did I imagine that that would happen. At that time, I could feel this weight of the burden was in me lifting off that there was something different now. Something was really gonna happen that was gonna be different. And so I'm thankful that God has redeemed me from that awful, awful addiction. Spending my lunch hours eating a sandwich but having my Bible open in front of me, looking at the words on the paper that had meant, meant nothing to me before. They were just words, but now they were in color, they were in 3D, they meant something to me couldn't believe what I was seeing and seeing that I was someone special, that God loved me, not for what I was, but for who I am in Him. You know, I describe that day as the worst day of my life, the worst day of my wife's life, but I can look back now <laughs> and say it was also the best day of my life because that was the day I started my path to freedom. It wasn't easy, but it was a process. And God, through His, through His love, reached down and through his mercy he provided me some practical ways uh, to get away from pornography and stay away.